I have a question for you. Is the performance of the pet care industry highly correlated with the performance of the overall markets? Yes or no? Well, you might say no if you watched our video on the DECRA deal where EQT bought DECRA, the company that offers medicine for pets. Because in that video, we argued that DECRA is not highly correlated with the overall markets since pet owners will pay for medicine for their beloved pets regardless of the state of the economy. But in our May 2024 video newsletter called Ming Sites, which you should subscribe to in the link in the description below if you don't already receive it, we took a deep dive into the Rover deal where we will give you a different answer to the question. We give the perspective on how the pet care industry can be highly correlated with the overall markets. Want to hear our analysis? Well, stay tuned for our Ming Sites video newsletter. In this edition of Ming Sites, we will walk you through the Rover deal, a recent deal where Blackstone is acquiring Rover. We'll go through the history of Rover, followed by the details of the deal, and then we will analyze the deal. So let's get started with the history of Rover, the large online marketplace for pet care services where you can hire pet sitters, dog walkers, and other people to help care for your pets. Back in 2011, Rover.com was created from the need for a dog sitter by Greg Gottesman when he had a bad experience with a kennel that was watching his dog while he took his sons to play in a basketball tournament. Greg brought the idea to start up weekend in Seattle. And next thing you know, Greg and his two co-founders, developer Philip Kimmy and CEO Aaron Easterly, built the Rover platform. Rover matches pet sitters and dog walkers with pet owners through the Rover platform. And the company makes money by taking a transaction fee of 15 to 25%. Well, over the next six years, Rover grew exponentially and received lots of investment from many investors, including Madrona Venture Group, Menlo Ventures, and the pet company Petco. In 2017, Rover acquired its competitor, Dog VK. This really grew Rover's platform. After receiving even more funding in the next few years, in 2021, Rover went public through a business combination with a SPAC called Nabula Caravel Acquisition Corp. Now, just a reminder, a SPAC or a special purpose acquisition company is a shell company, it has no commercial operations, that raises money through an IPO with the intention of buying a private company and bringing that private company public through a business combination. That's how the combination with Napula Caravel Acquisition Corp resulted in Rover being traded publicly on the NASDAQ. In 2024, at the time of this video, Rover has had over 2 million bookings, is in over 24,000 neighborhoods in 10 countries around the world. So let's move on to the details of the deal. On November 29th, 2023, Blacksoat entered into a definitive agreement to acquire Rover in an all-cash transaction valued at approximately $2.3 billion to bring Rover private. So let's analyze the deal. Do you remember our November 2023 video newsletter where we talked about the EQT DECRA deal? where EQT made an offer for DECRA. DECRA was the UK-based veterinary pharmaceuticals company that sells medicine for animals and veterinarians worldwide. Well, in that newsletter, we commented that with the rising global tensions, increased interest rates, and high uncertainty about the economy, investors are looking to invest in industries such as pet care that have a low correlation with the overall markets. But, Rover is a little different than DECRA. DECRA offers pet medicine, while Rover offers pet services that are needed when the pet owner is unavailable. I would argue that Rover actually would be more correlated with the overall economy 
then DECRA. Let me explain my thoughts. Since the COVID-19 pandemic, people have been going back to work and traveling more, which has increased the need for pet sitters and dog walkers. In the event that we have a large downturn in the economy, people will have less disposable incomes. They will probably lose their jobs, or at least some people will, and they'll be at home more, and they will be traveling less. Now, looking at DECRA, on the other hand, that's medicine for pets. So regardless of whether the economy is doing well or poorly, pet owners love their pets and will spend whatever they have to to make sure their pets are healthy. My argument is basically that animal health will take priority over the pet owner's free time. Now, Rover might be a fantastic investment overall based on the risk-adjusted returns that are possible. I'm just making a point about correlation to the economy. Investors, just by categorizing a sector such as pet care doesn't mean we can automatically make assumptions about how a particular business is correlated with the economy. If you are going to invest in an industry, make sure you fully understand the specific company's business model so that you are aware of all the risks that you are taking.